We are bracing for another round of potentially severe storms. Parts of the metro already facing a huge cleanup effort. Look at that flooding. The system that swept through Georgia less than 24 hours ago brought tornadoes to the south and even turned deadly, killing at least one person near Savannah. All the more reason to stay weather aware today. Chesley, what do we need to know about this round two? Well, round two is not like yesterday's round where we were tracking storms across the state of Alabama and Mississippi moving into the state. We watched those as they moved across. It'll be more development as we head into the afternoon, especially once we get into the daytime heating. So waking up this morning, this is not much on the radar right now. If you check your app, you don't see anything at all except for some fog in some spots. And so we'll be watching two areas down here to the south and also a cold front back off to the north and west of us that will come in later on this evening. So first, the first round, at least for this afternoon, we'll see that development that will take place down here to the south and that will begin to move to the north. And so it's down here to the south where we'll have the greatest impacts. You're looking at the tornado environment. It does show a greater threat a little bit further down to the south. There's still a threat over us, but it's on the low end. And so it's still possible, but it's a low end threat for tornadoes. How about the hail? Well, yesterday we saw pea size hail and dime size hail. As you see, as we head through the afternoon, it's very starts off very low, but then that starts to increase as well as we head into the afternoon as the storms down here to the south continue to develop. So we'll continue to watch that. That could add more problems to an area that already saw some tornadoes down here to the central portions of the state. We saw a lot of damage around here because of the winds as well. Brittany Kleinpeter has been out all morning long and surveying some of that damage. She joins us this morning. How's it looking right now? Good morning, Jessely. We are in the Peachtree Hills Avenue area of Fairhaven Circle. This is where there was a massive power outage, but lights are starting to come back on this morning. That's all after officials say a tree fell down on a power pole in this area, and we saw not only down trees causing power outages, but flooding was also a major issue. It was being reported on a number of roads yesterday, including Piedmont and Miami Circle in the Lindbergh area neighborhood. There were also reports of damage from possible tornadoes in West and Middle Georgia near Macon. And as you mentioned, Chesley, today just around one, we still have some trees that may have been slightly damaged but didn't fall yet from yesterday. So residents are going to want to stay aware going into this afternoon. That's absolutely right. Thanks a lot, Brittany. Really appreciate that. Folks, we want you to stay weather aware so you can keep you and your family safe. One of the easiest ways to do that is to download our 11 Live app. You can go to the App Store, download it for free. It'll bring you all the alerts right there to your phone, no matter where you are, so that you can stay safe. Cheryl?